All right, man. One of our little local lakes got a special request for some fish tacos. So uh, it's we're moving into fall, man. It, the weather's cooling off. Uh, we got a nice crisp day out today. Overcast wind. You know, hopefully all the special ingredients that lead bass to to want to be chomping today. Uh, the transitions between seasons get tough, you know. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I got every shad representation I can imagine. So we're throwing small baits. You know, we're just trying to get bites. Like to always harvest from lakes that have an overabundance of bass, especially small ones. So that's what we're after today. That, you know, that 13, 14 inch range. Uh, this place has no, no shortage of them. There are plenty. So hopefully we can snag a few and take them with us. But let's get out there. Let's see what's up. we go there's one there we go that feels good that feels like a good one dude god that feels really good man oh god come here come here come here we got nibble we're just making our way from the canal where we enter into this back cove and uh, in the fall time when the shad, when the major shad spawn happens, the fish will all be back here busting shad. It's a little early, but we're definitely seeing some activity. So maybe with this cooler weather, the shad have already started congregating back here. Cause if they're not here, usually the bass are nowhere to be found. So we got nibbled and we got bit. What is this dude? Oh dude, no way, man. Hey guy, that's not a bass. That's what's up. Okay, no wonder it was fighting so crazy. We got the old tilapia bite. Unbelievable, man. <clears throat> there are no shortage of tilapia in this lake. <laughs> I fouled him. Good God, dude. The old tilapia bite. Well, hardly a bite. You must have been swatting at it though for me to foul it. It's a good one. There we go. There we go. Come on, be a fish. There's a fish. There's one. Oh guy, that's that's about the right size. The old shad bait coming through. Looks like we're out in the middle of the lake, but basically we, I just kept throwing this bait and getting hung up in some, uh, some pond weed. So I just kind of pushed out until I got past where it wasn't getting caught in the pond weed. So I'm envisioning we're on the outside edge of that, that grass line. There we go. We got one. That's an eating size. That's what we're after. There's, oh God, that was a good one. That was a good bite. <laughs> I thought something was hitting it. Oh man, that was another good one. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Right in that same spot, just kind of on the outside edge. That's another good one, dude. That's another eating size bass right there, baby. That's what we're after today. Oh, there we go. What's up, chatterbait fish? There we go. And we're getting something going up shallow a little bit. I did not even feel that bite, dude. Look at how skinny that guy is. That is not a good one. Got the old, uh, throwing the spinnerbait around, but it was not garnering any interest from these, uh, these shallow fish. So I kind of switched gears. We got the mini, the mini chatterbait. I just got a couple of these been experimenting you know it's chatterbait it works there you go 
There we go. Oh, that feels like a better one. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, that's a nice one. Just came up to shallower water. We're kind of on a good sized grass flat here. We switch to the chatter bait and there we go. That's two back to back and just a few casts. We're starting to get also to the windblown side of the lake. So, you know, any bait gets corralled and pushed. It's always, if it's been windy throughout the day, always good to visit the, the windy side of the lake. Now we're gonna measure this guy and see what this guy measures. It's a 14 and a quarter inch fish. You know, I always measure the fork of the tail. It's my gauge. So we'll we'll keep this one. This will be our fourth one. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. You know, if it was 15, I'd probably toss it back in. That's kind of my gauge. But there's a couple fish tacos in here, so we'll keep this guy. Oh, come on, baby. Come on with it. Right there at the end of the cast. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey. Oh, come on, guy. There we go. Now we got a little bag full. Again, that's, that's the size we're after, man. Somewhere in that 13 inch range. All right, man, got our five. Got it's a good little batch for fish tacos. Didn't light the world on fire, um, but managed to catch some fish. You know, it, we're in that transition phase from fall to summer, and seasonal transitions are always tough. You know, the fish start kind of migrating, just doing different things. So, lucky to get five um, in the months to come you know as it we get some sustained coolness and stuff we're gonna have some thread fin shad spawns going on like it's gonna be fun so i'm excited we came out here threw some reaction baits caught a few you know and hopefully it's a sign of the what's to come in the coming months so